Meet Arnold. And today he's in the Museum of the Human Body in Holland. And look, this is the world's first bioengineered human skin. In 2011, Dutch scientists created a goat that could produce material for spider webs in its milk, and then they turned that stuff into human skin. This skin is 15 times stronger than steel, and it can stop 5.56 caliber bullets. The study officially ended. But what if the experiments continued in secret? Congratulations, Arnold! You just volunteered for the bulletproof skin test. Wow! You still alive, Superman? So, a successful test. Hey, Arnie, these guys seem pretty happy with the outcome, but they want to up the ante. A grenade launcher fires a grenade from its barrel at a speed of 120 meters per second, and it can pierce 50 centimeters of steel armor. Now we need something more serious. For example, skin made from fullerene. This is the strongest material known to science, an allotrope of carbon, and it's 200 times stronger than the strongest steel. Congratulations, Arnie! Your fullerene skin can withstand a rocket-propelled grenade, which, of course, cannot be said about your brain. The shockwave has turned it into jiggly jelly. But luckily, you're in a super-secret lab. That's right, Arnold! Perfect time to get away! After all, now automatic weapons can't hurt you. In fact, you can't be strangled, and even getting hit by a car won't hurt you. But your strength, Arnie, you little wimp, that hasn't changed a bit. But instead, as I can see, now you've got nerves of steel. But the problem is, Arnold, now you have to hide for the rest of your life so that no one knows that you've got super skin. Wait, what? I see, Arnie. You'll do anything for likes. Well, each his own. I never thought I'd say this, but I feel sorry for you, Arnold. And I know someone who can help. Dr. Joe has a secret formula that can reduce any pain. But you redheads need more anesthesia than ordinary people. This is due to a gene that gives you your red hair color. Our bodies are made up of a huge number of cells. In order for them to interact, there are special proteins in the cell membrane, ion channels. Ion channels are something like gates for the senses. Thanks to them, we can feel warm and cold, smell and taste, and also experience pain. You can eat plenty of chocolate, Arnold. It's scientifically proven that chocolate can cause headaches. Perhaps, Arnold, this defect suits you, since you'll never have to feel the physical pain that I have to inflict on you. But don't celebrate just yet, buddy. Pain can also be emotional. So hold on. For example, unrequited love. This type of pain is experienced by people who sold their Bitcoin in 2015. Arnie, friend, cheer up. You don't feel pain, and this can help emphasize your individuality. For example, you can insert a diamond into your forehead, just like the famous rapper Lil Uzi Vert. There are some people in the world who don't feel any pain at all. This is a consequence of a defect in the SCN9A gene. Such people can distinguish cold and hot. They feel touch, but the pain signals don't come through. Arnold, are you really gonna beat up Tagai's boyfriend for that kiss? Remember, Arnold, not feeling pain doesn't mean that you're immortal. You need to go to the hospital immediately. I see, you're still the same lazy guy. So while you don't feel pain, even ordinary tape will do. Oops, it looks like the effect of Dr. Joe's drug is over. Welcome back to normal life, Arnold. There are three possible approaches to invisibility. The first is perfect transparency which, sadly, we cannot achieve. The second is camouflage. When the light rays emanating from the object correspond to the rays that we would expect to see in the absence of the object, this is exactly what my machine does. And the third and last approach is when an object is swathed in a metamaterial, something like an invisible hat, that transforms the path of light rays so that they seem unchanged. Now, we'll try it on a pizza. If everything works out, it will be a pizza that you won't have to share with your friends. 
Okay, I'm throwing the first switch. Did you know that the first three-dimensional invisibility was achieved by a group from the University of California, Berkeley in 2008? They created a mesh of silver microfibers that doesn't reflect or absorb light rays. As a result, the eye sees light only from the objects behind the camouflaged entity. Now the second switch. Don't move, Arnold. Wait, what are you? Oh, you are such an imbecile. I'd smack you upside your head, but damn it, I don't know where you are. Put this hat on so I can see you. Okay, you have 24 hours. What are you going to do? Who'd have any doubt that's where you'd go first? If my machine worked according to the principle of invisibility, you'd become blind because the invisible body's refractive index becomes equal to that of air, and the lenses in your eyes would lose the ability to reflect light rays and focus them on the retina. The retina itself also wouldn't be able to absorb visible light with its rods and cones due to its invisibility. But as I can see, your eyesight seems to be okay, you slobbering ignoramus. Okay, now that the gym is closing, can we do something else? You have 18 hours left. I meant something a little more significant, you block-headed jerk monkey. After all, you could reveal terrible uh. secrets and perform incredible feats. You could even make your way into Area 51. Oh, right, it's in a different state. Do you have any ideas? Are you thinking about stealing it? That's a terrible idea. In any case, you need a plan. Of course, thanks to invisibility, you'll be able to stay long after closing. But then you'll need to bypass the guards. And there are also lasers all around the diamond. Can you really do a triple somersault, steal the diamond, and leave the museum in the car that will bring new antiquities for the exposition exactly at 2 a.m.? Even so, this is a really bad idea. The museum closes in an hour. Go hide in the corner and wait. And take off your hat, you mutton-headed twit. Get ready, Arnold. The main thing, obviously, is not to get caught. Arnold, it's go time! Aw, oh, nuts! All you had to do was a triple somersault, and you screwed it up again. <sighs> well, now, now you have to run for your life, Arnold! The exit is just around the corner. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Damn, looks like you stole a glass copy of the diamond. Well, I gotta say this is an unfortunate turn of events. Although, to be honest, it's pretty logical that the original would be kept in a safe. Now you'll never have the love of the beautiful tug eye. Unfortunately, you're gonna become visible in just about an hour or so. So, good luck escaping. Bye-bye, Arnold. Arnold! Have you actually started living a healthy lifestyle? Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're going to have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids? First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although, I will know what caused it and why. <laughs>
Don't worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something else big. It seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. But the worst thing is that Anything can happen in the alleys near Italian restaurants. For instance, a showdown between the mafia and stray dogs. Arnold, watch out! After such an encounter, you might end up with a scar. Normally, collagen fibers in the skin are interwoven in a crisscross manner, but within a scar, they're stretched out parallel to the skin's surface. The main danger with an open wound is infection. That's why the body prefers to quickly fill the wound with scar tissue. So don't worry, you'll recover quickly. Arnold, did you seriously miss your date? Do you think the girl is still waiting for you? Unfortunately, you'll have to cancel the date. While you were in the hospital, the doctors discovered that you have appendicitis and you urgently need surgery. Scars from appendicitis and ulcers are among the most common scars in the world. 20% of the population has them. And topping the list is a scar that absolutely every person on Earth has, the belly button. Arnold, you've been discharged from the hospital. After everything you've been through, doctors have strictly forbidden you from getting stressed out. So I suggest relaxing and going to the movies. What do you think? Sorry, I didn't think you'd get stressed out because of the main character's death and the fact that the girl quickly found herself a new bow. Damn, is there a doctor in the house? Because scars of the heart don't show due to unrequited love, but they do after a heart attack. The scarred heart muscle doesn't participate in the heart's contraction, leading to heart failure, which affects 25 million people. That's equal to the entire population of Australia. Tough luck, Arnie. Seems like you're not quite ready for begging just yet. A callus is the result of skin cell division. Thickened skin helps one's body to adapt to stresses. However, in keratoderma, skin cells divide too actively, so actively that calluses form over the entire surface of your palms and the soles of your feet. But such calluses don't protect the skin. They only cause pain. Did you take my words literally and decide to start training? Not Bad, Arnie, but it seems your body can't keep up with your enthusiasm. Look at the calluses on the homeless guy. He clearly did not grow them in just a day. Though, I guess you also have some well-trained areas that constantly get bumped. Good job, Arnold. Sometimes it's better to have calluses than not to have them. But not always. Yee, what a wretch. A callus weighs one gram. It can stay on the body for a few days to several weeks. If you gather all the calluses a person has had in their lifetime, you'd get a callus monster half the size of a person. Small, but sturdy. In some martial arts, there's a term called iron shirt, where the entire body is conditioned to reduce sensitivity to pain. However, for this, one needs to strike the same spot repeatedly over an extended period. To achieve an iron body, fighters invented the iron broom, a heavy metal massage brush. 
It consists of 50 rods connected together and is used for beating oneself. With constant strikes, the skin cells keratinize and the neurons get used to it, considering it normal and ceasing to transmit pain signals. Go on, Arnie, show us what you got. I see you really haven't wasted your time. The iron shirt technique works. Oh! Well, of course, there are some places where calluses simply don't form. Have you ever wondered what's more painful? Covering your whole body in tattoos or getting piercings? Pain is subjective, but math isn't. The surface area of human skin is about 22 square feet. This is 3,160 square inches. To completely cover it in paint, it would take 300 hours. The most tattooed person, Lucky Diamond Rich, is 360% covered in tattoos, including his gums, ears, and private parts. And Elaine Davidson is the piercing champion. It took 3,000 hours to cover my entire body with piercings. She has almost 15,000 piercings, weighing a total of 11 pounds. Conclusion, it's better to cover your body with tattoos than piercings. Then you'll feel pain 10 times less often.